Today I'll show you how you can add passwordless login system to your WordPress website. That means that people can log into your WordPress website without needing to remember a password. So if you're ready, let's dive in. To get this going, we're going to install what is called a magic link plugin. This is the most common method for passwordless logins. So from your WordPress dashboard, we're going to head over to plugins, add new, and we're searching for magic login. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install now and stick around to activate the plugin as well. Note that in this tutorial, we're using the free plugin, but if you wanted to get a little bit fancier, there's also a magic login pro plan that adds support for additional features like brute force protection, login redirection, and the ability to customize the emails that are being sent. Once that's installed, you automatically will see send me a login link. And if there's a valid account with that username or email address, then they'll get the email with the login link. But then we can also customize it a little bit further. So let's go ahead and customize it. We'll close this out. We'll head back over to our dashboard. We want to go to settings, magic login to configure. Now, the first thing that you can configure is you can force to use the magic login by default. This won't allow them to even try to put in a password. And you could also use a short code to add the login page to any page or widget if you want as well. Now scrolling down, there's token lifespan. By default, only five minutes. This will be available for them to click on it. So they have five minutes to be able to log in with that. And then how many times that it can be used, you can choose that here. From here, you can also choose if you want to add the magic login links to outgoing emails. If you enable this, then the magic link will be added to any email sent out by WordPress, even including WooCommerce order confirmations or automated coupons, comment notifications, and things like that. And then as you see down here are the pro features that you can enable as well. Once we've finished everything, we can scroll all the way down and update settings. And now since we turn it on, the only availability is to use a username or email address. And if the email address is in your WordPress dashboard, then they'll get the magic link for you. Now, if the email isn't sent, that that's probably a problem with the WordPress not sending emails. You can watch this video next as we walk you through step-by-step -step on what to do if your WordPress website is not sending emails. And I'll see you over there.